and greetings gamers and welcome to Let's Play Silent Storm. Um, if I had to, I don't know, describe this game in one, a ah, couple of words, it would be um, XCOM with Nazis, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's the same genre as XCOM, but uh, you have no idea what they had to go through to get this game to run. I mean, um, I used to have an XP, no, um, uh, computer, and um, it worked fine. I mean, seriously, no, no problems at all. Yeah, go on, tuck it on. Might as well. Um, yeah, got the best things. But yeah, with the XP, not, not, no problems whatsoever. I must say, there was um. I could do all the things I wanted to. But, uh... Yeah, show hints. No, I don't really want hints. I've played this game enough to know a thing or two. Yes, you want that. Show path. Yes, you want that. Show blood. Definitely want blood. Don't we, folks? Yeah, all this looks lovely. Anyway, what was I saying? Ah, that's right. Um, with XP, I could play this game how I wanted. You know, there was no problems whatsoever. But uh, once I start, once I switch to Windows 7, which is what I have on my laptop here, um, the game basically doesn't run on 64 operating systems um, if it has four gigs or more. I know it's a weird glitch. It, <laughs> The actual b error it says is uh, video card not supported, which is weird because it has nothing to do with the video card. But um, yeah, if you have this game and you don't know how it work, uh, how to get it to work again, what you want to do is um, open up MS uh, Config, which you can you know find, just search for it, and basically uh, just reduce the amount of um, RAM your computer uses. You went from four gigs, uh, four gigs, yeah. Uh, so uh, four, yeah. Basically, I just had to reduce the now the amount of bits by one or bytes. I have no idea how it works, but anyway. So that's how you get that sorted. Um, as you can see, I'm doing a custom game. What this basically does is not make it custom. It just adds a mod. As you can see, I have a various, various amounts of mods. Some of these are actually given with the game, like uh, always critical, AP for inventory usage, headshot should kill. I always love that one, because it makes the game incredibly hard if you don't have a laptop. For the simple reason that to do aim shots, you need to use a number pad. This laptop doesn't have a number pad, so I can't use those aim shots. The computer will, and the computer will always, but always, like, snipe you a mile away and auto-kill you. Because in this game, if you, your character dies, it's game over. But I'm using the first mod, which, um, among many things, corrects, like, ammo types for various guns, adds guns, adds weapons, um, and also... What does it do? I think it removes a few of the sci-fi elements, because I didn't like uh, some of... Basically, like major spoilers, this game has like humanoid tanks at the end of the game. You know, like a big robot. You know, like um, uh, in Alien, those big giant robot things. That's, that, that's basically what you have at the end of the game. And uh, I think, I, I can't remember if this removes them or not. But uh, I, I, I never settled well with me. I mean, I don't mind them so much. It's the fact that they have, like, plasma rifle weaponry. This is World War Two. I, I mean, you know, it's all fine for, like, parallel universes. Which, you know, this is the only way I can sleep at night, I'll be honest. Because you have, like, um, Nazis have bases in bloody Britain. That, no. This never happens. I'm sorry. Historians? No. Especially North Britain. I'm in North Britain. Screw it. <laughs> no Nazis landed here. Anyway, that's my rant done. Go for harmonica. He's cool. 
So uh, five minutes of ranting there. Um, let's see. We are going... The Axis. Play a German, Italian or Japanese hero. No, oh, we are playing the Allies because we want to be British, don't we? Anyway, normal or normal setting. Ah, screw it, we're playing on hard. I actually find hard to be slightly harder than impossible. In, in some instances, usually impossible will just decimate you. But there are number, I think it's just the beginning. The beginning tends to be a bit harder on hard than it does on impossible. The end game on impossible really is. I mean, you take one step, you're dead. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we have um, a selection of characters here. We're going to create our own character because we are epic. A British, naturally. We're going to be a sniper because uh, those are the, that's the best class to be, in my opinion. You can just pop things off from far away and, uh, you know, hide. It's just, yeah, a sniper's a long-range marksman, they have a very good eye, and their skill lies in patient, long-distance enemy elimination. However, low strength makes it easy for the opposition to kill him. If he's hit by a couple of bullets, he'll never survive. A mission to eliminate an important enemy officer can be completed much easier with a sniper's help. Usually snipers have a high dexterity and are quite observant. That's what you want, because you don't want your main guy, like I said, if he dies, game over. So you want him to be far away from the action, but still useful. So anyway, we're going to be called Axel, because that's what I call my guys. Surname, British, for we are Mr. British, and nickname, Gamer. Oh yes. Uh, what we're going to do is take one off dexterity, put it into strength, because I like this sort of setup better. Here's all my starting stats. Feel free to take a look at them, I don't. We could, like, just mess around with different uniforms. We can, basically, we could wear a Nazi uniform, I think. There you are, no, that's, that's the Nazi uniform. No? I thought you could. Or maybe that was just my imagination once. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we are going to have a custom head. Yes. Gender. Wrong way. Right, we're going to be slightly... Yeah, that, that's, that works. Nationality. Uh, yeah, we're going to be that. Age. We are young. Whoa. Hello, Grandpa. That looks like, um, what's his name? Jeff Dunham. Walter. That's the one. Brows. We are going to have... I thought we're always angry, we're always surprised. Always angry, always surprised. Let's be slightly surprised angry. Now, yeah, be there. <laughs> slightly monotone. Are you serious? You're in my way, sir. Oh, God. Having spoony flashbacks, right? The nose looks good. Cheeks. Slightly inwards. Lips. This doesn't matter, really. Right, either you're kiss-ass or you're the Joker. Um, let's go with that. Chin. Yeah, we'll leave it at the center. That's the best one. Hair. Now, because we have a, a hoodie on, we can't actually see what hair we have. So I'm going to assume that's good. Uh, eye color. We are go- whoa! Captain Barbosa, we are Sith Lord. Alright. Blue eyes, that's good. Or we could just... I am... Um, <laughs> Zool, motherfucker, Zool. No, no, blue eyes is the way to go. That is blue, right? Looks slightly grey to me. There's your blue. It's light blue, that, that looks scary, Christ. Nah, that'll do. Facial hair. Now this is probably what looks like me the most, but we're just going with general stubble. Face damage. First of all, eyeglasses. <laughs> yeah, we could wear ski round sort of. Oh yeah, I think we've. I don't know actually. <laughs> I am Hans Lander of the SS. Uh, either these ones or these ones. I can't. I think those. These ones look a bit more streamlined. These. I can actually. No, no, we're going with. Uh, going with these ones. They look better. Face damage. We can have active camo on. A plaster on the nose. Ooh, yes. 
we are going with Battle Scars. Now, what I like to do is put it basically between the two, so they barely, they're barely noticeable, but they kick ass. Right, now finally for the voice. You got it. You got it. We can either be American. You got it. Russian, or... You got it. Scottish. I love it. Right, that's where we're gonna be. So, um, yeah, seeing as there's only three minutes left, I'm gonna end the video here. So, um, in the next one, folks, we will actually start the game. Hooray. So, see you then.